started with a mortuary that had been converted to kind of a church Sunday school. And so naturally that's not designed like a typical apartment building with a lot of windows and a lot of small spaces. So we're adapting the building to the new uses of housing and the communal aspects of the housing project that's on the lot. You have a community that has years of experience with that building being there. In this case, this was their primary funeral home, and therefore that community deserves to kind of keep that building, even if it changes use, so that they can have that continuity with their memory. Plus you get the extra value of superb architects creating a wonderful building, and it's nice to celebrate that and maintain it and refurbish it back to what it was. So you have all these issues that you have to try to figure out how the building can fit into that comfortably and not tear the building apart to put your new program in. Colonial Revival is a style that has a very elegant proportion to it. The tall and thin and lots of columns and lots of details and lots of panels and the way the wall meets the ground is thought out in terms of the base and the wainscot and the way it meets the ceiling is thought out in terms of the cornice and the wonderful detail of shadow and light that will change during the day. I'm pretty familiar with Paul Williams and then when we started the project we looked at his books and we looked at what he did and you identify what they call the character defining features like the circular stair which Paul Williams put in all his houses <laughs> and was a very very defining moment of this architect. So you have these elements that are in the building, both inside and out, and these are the things that become like the structure of what you make your decisions around. Clearly, there needs to be a lot more space made for affordable housing because the city is struggling. Uh, we have a homelessness crisis and we need to put people in homes. So this Paul Williams building, I mean, it's a part of history because of who he is, but it was boarded up for years and years and years and it wasn't serving the needs of the community. So to rehab this gorgeous building and to help revitalize the neighborhood because you're rehabbing a part of its culture and a part of its history. And in the meantime, you're providing housing to these families. It's kind of a perfect world. I love everything about the show because I never had I never had anything like this in my other place. Um, and then I like that the mailboxes are secure. The gate is always locked. We have our own gate key and that video surveillance around here. And then I like this thing. This is my favorite thing in the world. The nice cabinetry, the nice countertops. I feel like royalty here. Everybody deserves to live and comfortable housing and safe housing. Everybody deserves that.